occasions where you, we have dreams. And those are, some of them, are messages from God telling us a powerful message. Now, the message of God for Jacob was this. You are in Bethel right now. Bethel, alam natin na, it means the house of God. Now, we understand, ito pong lugar na ito na pinuntahan ng Jacob, he called it Bethel. But we all know now that we are Bethels. We are houses of God. How? Because the Holy Spirit now dwells in us. Ang tawag sa atin ng Bible, we are now the temple of the Holy Spirit. Sabi mo katabi mo, you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Which makes you a Bethel. Amen? Sino rito temple ng Holy Spirit? Of course, a more basic question than that would be, sino na sa atin ang tumanggap kay Jesus as Lord and Savior? And all of us would say, ako, um, natanggap na natin si Jesus. Nung tanggapin natin si Jesus, we became temples of the Holy Spirit. And because we're now temples of the Holy Spirit, we are now Bethels, houses of God. Now, question is, what does it mean to become a Bethel? Dito sa kwento nito, we will see some very powerful points what it means to be a Bethel. The first is this. Sa so verse 16, ang sabi rito, when Jacob awoke from this from his sleep, he thought, surely the Lord is in this place. Where? In Bethel. First point is this. For all of us, if you are a Bethel, you actually carry the presence of God. Surely the Lord is in this place. So, maski saan ka magpunta, you are carrying the presence of God. Minsan, we're not aware of that. But as far as God is concerned, He's always with us. So, maski saan ka magpunta, dala mo ang presence ni God. Yun nga natin, itong, itong malungkot. Dala dala natin ang presence ni God. But many times, even most of the time, we're not even conscious of His presence. So, mapupunta ka sa isang lugar and you feel like, Hala, sobrang namang dilim dito, sobrang namang sama rito, sobrang negative yung, yung uh, mga nangyayari dito. But then again, if you're carrying the presence of God, you're actually the one who's supposed to dominate the atmosphere in that place. You dominate. Sabi mo yung katabi mo, you dominate. Bakit? Kasi kung saan na ako si Lord, yung presence niya magdodominate. Ang nangyari dito, si Benihin, lumabas ng kwarto. 
Sakto yung nanay niya, nandun sa hallway, sa labas ng kwarto. Pagdaan ni Benny hinaga niya, yung nanay niya, tumalsik. <laughs> Alright? Of course, by that time, hindi pa alam ni Benny that it has something to do with the power of God. Yung nanay niya, tumalsik. And so he was wondering, Mom, what happened to you? I don't know. It was like something hit me. Oh, tinulungan niya ganyan. Pero hindi niya alam, it was the glory of God, the presence of the Lord, it was coming out of him. Sino sa inyo gusto yun? So release him. Release him. You go to a place, let the presence of God just flow out from you. Ang sabi nito ni Jacob, when he was in Bethel, sabi niya, Surely, everybody say, surely. Surely, sabi ni Jacob, surely the Lord is in this place. And let me tell you this, surely the Lord is in this place. Surely the Lord is in that place. Surely the Lord is within us. But He does not want just to be in here. He wants out. He wants out. He can only paring bill. Bill Johnson. Ang sabi niya, the Holy Spirit is in prison in the minds of unbelieving believers. Let's not imprison him. Let's let him go. Let's let him loose. Kumawala siya and then he will do wonders in our needs. Amen? Sa kaya yung katabi mo, pakawalan mo. Hallelujah. We are Bethels. We carry the presence. Ang mahirap nito, you carry the presence, you carry the glory, and yet, ang nangyayari, yung mga paligid, ang siya nakaka-affect sa atin. May mga negative sa paligid, siya ang nakaka-affect sa atin. Negative yung barkada mo, negative yung kaklase mo, negative yung ka-office mate mo, negative yung pinuntahan mo. Pagkatapos, turns out, naging negative ka na rin. That is not being a Bethel. Surely, the Lord is in this place. At kung nanit si Lord, He can do great wonders. He can do great wonders. Amen. Gusto ko yun, ha? That wherever I go. Which is why the Bible says, science will follow. We don't follow after science. Science follow us. Well, as sabi ni Roland Baker, there are occasions where you just need to follow the science. And then when the science, but once you capture the science, let science follow you. Okay then. Let's pursue the glory of God. Let's pursue the glory of God. Lord, gusto kita, gusto kita. And because we want Him, He pours out so much upon us. And because He pours out so much upon us, then the glory will follow us. Hallelujah. Let's move on. Second point is this. So, sabi ni Jacob, verse 16, When he awoke, he thought, Surely, the Lord is in this place. And I was not aware of it. Yun ang marami sa atin. Kasama na ako rin. Surely the Lord is in this place. I was not aware of it. Kaya not yet, guys. You're not aware of the presence of God. You're not aware of the glory of God. So what do you do? You do nothing. Meron may sakit. Why? You're not aware of it. We're not aware of it. But we should be aware that the presence is always there. Tell you what. Marami po sa mga pinag-pray ko, I don't feel anything. Promise. I'll peg it at 95%. I don't feel anything. Who was here when I prayed for that woman na mayroon siya yung arthritis last Friday night? Who saw that one? Um, I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel anything. Na, na inilapit sa akin, can, can you pray for her? Sige po, of course, sure. Laid hands on her. In Jesus' name, I rebuke arthritis. I command you to go. And then I said, Pwede niyo pong igalaw-galaw. Kumusta po? Masakit. Okay, tayo po. Tayo siya. Eh, kitang-kita mo yung tayo na may arthritis at nang walang arthritis at tayo na may arthritis. Alam niyo yun? At tayo na wala. Eh, yung tayo niya. Sabi ko. Wala aking, wala aking, ding, 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 nothing, nothing. Because sometimes, sometimes, 
we only release the presence of God. We only release the glory of God when we have that tingly sensation. Na para ba? Hi, na dito si Lord. <laughs> but most of the time, when it comes to me, I don't feel anything. Ito si nasabi rito ng Jacob. Surely the Lord is in this place. I was not aware of it. I was not aware of it. If I'm going to base it on the way I feel. But lots of things that we do as believers, we do by faith. Right. Not by sight, not by feelings. You just go for it. Lord, papakawalan kita sa lugar na ito. Amen? We just release the presence. Sabihan ka tabi mo, just release the presence. Wow. Let's move on. Let's move on. Ang sabi rito, He was afraid, verse 17, and said, How awesome is this place. Everybody, place your hand on your head and say this. How awesome is this place? 